Hey guys, what's going on? Shark be here, back with the new NHL video. Um, first of all, before we get into it, I'm just gonna say one thing, which is there will be one video every day, um, until August 31st. To August 31st, and starting Sunday, starting nine for one, um, or nine one, it'll be of every video uh, or whatever that first, um. Whenever that first Sunday is in September, um, there will be a video, um, there will be only Sunday videos until, um, until start of NHL regular season, until start NHL regular season. Um, then, uh, starting the NHL regular season will be NHL predictions on that, on that, on 9-1 NHL predictions, on 9-1 NHL predictions. Joe predictions spin wheel. Then... Um, then the rest of it we will go over, then after that, until playoffs, none. So our break is going to be from the NHL regular season until the playoffs. Playoffs, we will be doing those predictions. And then we will recycle that schedule after Vegas wins, after a team wins the cup. So now, what you see on my screen is, um, now I'll go over Journey of the USA 2, actually, while I'm at it. So Journey of the USA, that series is completely gone. Um, we're not gonna re we're not gonna do that. Um, what we are gonna do is something I'm gonna call Journey of the Bases, um, which is similar to Journey of the USA, just with more challenges. Um, so what I'm thinking is... I don't know if it's going to be a spin wheel edition or not. Um, no, no spin wheel for this. So what you're going to do is starting July, um, is starting soon. Actually, let's get this. I'll do the, go over this in the next video where I'll just be flying around um, and stuff. Okay, it looks like Microsoft uploaded, uploaded the game, uh, updated the game. So we'll get into that later. But right now, I'm just gonna check one thing real quick. Right now, we're just gonna get into this. So, starting. So, let's start with Colorado, Seattle. I had Seattle down and out in four games. And we're gonna go over what happened. Some of this, I do know what happened. Um, and then some that I don't really know, we're gonna not really go with it. Actually, let's, let's see what did actually happen. Um, I'm gonna search real NHL bracket. I need the official bracket. Okay, so we got the official bracket here. So I'm not going to share that with you guys, but it's just for my knowledge. Um, so let's go over it. We had some ups, and we had some very interesting ones. Um, and we also had some very sad, very interesting, very, we had some ups, and we had some very interesting ones. And then we also had some very um, weird ones, too, at the same time. Um, so let's get into it. So, we're going to start in the East. I'm going to start with the um, Rangers and the Devils. Um, I'm going to, there's no really specific sorting of this one. Um, I'm just really honest at this point. Just I'm just using what I know from this at this point. I'm going to scroll down so you can see the Rangers one and the Islanders one. Um, honestly, I'm just going with um, random order and which ones were very interesting and which ones were the worst ones. Um, and for right now, we're, I'm going to go with 
the ones being the best ones. I'm going to go with the Rangers and the Devils. Um, not the best series, but the most interesting series, to say the least. Um, and that is, a, and I will tell you in the East why it's in New Jersey and New York and why it's not the Boston Florida right now or the Toronto Tampa game. Um, it definitely the Boston, the New Jersey, New York one because New York had a two zero lead in the series over 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 the over the Devils and their Jersey um one tied it to two one. Almost had a chance to end it, and then New York, the Rangers forced Game Seven before New Jersey took Game Seven. Um, seems four to nothing Game Seven. We can check that in the first round. Um, what was the score of that game? I had the Florida series one. Um, Toronto series one. Um, Islander series. Ranger series. Here we go. So, the, yep. It was four to nothing in game seven, and that one was interesting to me because you cannot lose a game seven four to nothing. You forced a game seven. You won against the same team a few nights ago at that point, I think it was. Um, yeah, April 29th versus April, uh, May 1st. So you won a game seven, a game six. Five to two. That is the expectation coming into New Jersey to win a game, to win one game, to advance. You had a, you have a high expectation set, and what do you do? You absolutely choke it away, and you don't win this cup again this year. Oh, and not to mention you fired Gerard Gallant after that. What was that all about? Yes, Gallant, Gallant made them to the playoffs through the Eastern Conference Final last year, where they lost to Tampa. Okay, but if you cannot, if you're gonna make trades and not even use them to your advantage, that's not your coach's fault. It's your players' fault. You guys gotta wake up, like got your folks on playing hockey and as you play hockey. So anyway, um, I thought that was shocking knowing how the Rangers had two zero lead, and also I want to go over it. So. These teams were separated by four points, um, 98 to 102. Goals for a game is a little higher for the Devils. Goals against are a little higher for the Devils. Power play is a little higher for the Rangers. PK is higher for the Rangers. And Jack Hughes versus Mika Sipmanich. Uh, we won't go over that, but bottom line is there was some... There's some very interesting hockey to it, and some very shocking hockey, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, definitely the Rangers deserved to win that, but they didn't. And let me go over my predictions for this one. My predictions was in New Jersey in five, and what actually happened was New Jersey in seven. Um, therefore, I got this one wrong, but I did get part of it right. The only part I actually got in the whole bracket challenge, and that is the New Jersey Devils versus the New York Rangers series. Um, I got part of it because I got the New Jersey. So next, most interesting series, I want to say the Boston Florida. Um... I don't want to say that at the same time. I'm not sure. These two are tied over each other. Over who is the best, uh, who is the second of best series, I, or most interesting series. I want to do the Boston Florida, but I'm actually going to go over to the Toronto Tampa Bay series right now. Um, and I'm not skipping the New Carolina New York one. That one was like, and that one, New York lost in six. Um, Carolina won, so I'm just going over the things that went to game sevens or whatever first, and then we'll go for the rest of them. To me, that's basically the way I'm prioritizing it. I don't know if you guys noticed that yet. Um, and yeah, so let's go into it. Um, right now, actually, so with that, we are gonna get into um. We're gonna get into the Toronto in the Toronto Tampa game. Um, actually Boston Florida. Sorry, we're gonna go over Boston Florida. Um, honestly, though, we'll go over Toronto Tampa. There's really nothing to it. It was just a great series by Toronto, and they won. Um, 
that's all we're going to go over. We're not going to really go over anything else just besides that. So now Boston, Florida. The Boston Florida is a game of actually good hockey for once. Um, we actually witnessed good hockey, terrible ref calls, but that's okay. Um, sometimes that brings more of the fun hockey, and it makes players more angry, and more angry equals more excitement for us fans. Um, but I do agree with the coaches there. There was some controversial, controversial roughing there, definitely. Um. I don't really know why they did the con- con- why they had the ref like that, but also I thought there were some shady calls that should have gone Boston's way, um, it, especially in Game Seven overtime. Um, but I feel like Florida also played a lot harder to butt front than Boston. Um, and since I'm doing neutral, I'm gonna remain neutral here. And I don't really, I really think Florida did well, but I'm gonna give credit to Boston fans. Um, and I'm not gonna really say anything else on that one except Boston. Why do you choke a three to one lead? Seriously, like you're choking a three to one lead, and this is your second straight first round exit. Um, and it's not Bruce Cassidy that was the issue, like you guys thought it was, because. This year's coach is Jim Montgomery, if you guys didn't know that, um, and also, Jim Montgomery, I feel like he coached the Bruins well, but Florida is also a good team. Another thing is, if you guys don't notice yet, a lot of people are just saying, oh, it's a President's Trophy curse and all that. I don't think it is, to be honest with you, because Boston left the first round twice, and Florida won in their first round series this year. And they lost last year, so they're not in the uh, suspicion. And Tampa won that, and they won the Cub. Um, I forgot what year that was, but it's not enough suspicion to believe that it is the President's Trophy coach. I think it's just that the Bruins are making really good trades, and they're on the path, but they don't have enough experience in the playoffs yet. Um, some of their players don't have plenty of experience. Let me know your comments down below on that, but you can't be choking a 3-1 series lead. Like they're, Boston, I feel like, has become the new Toronto Maple Leafs, so we won't get much into that. Um, we're just going to go over now to the Carolina one, the last one in the East, the second one, actually the first one to end, I think. Um, if I look at dates of the to- Toronto Tampa game six, I'm going to look at the ga- uh, dates here for the Toronto Tampa game six. The Toronto Tampa one ended on April 29th. So, yeah, the Islanders ended April 28th. So, yep, that is correct. The, one, the first game to end of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Um, I believe, yeah, it's the first. The first game, um, to end it was still in the Stanley Cup playoffs, um, followed by Dallas. Actually, actually, by one day, it's a Vegas. One day is a Vegas. So, in the East, in the East, it's the first game to finish. The New York Islanders is the New Carolina Hurricanes. Again, there's really nothing to talk about in this series. Um, definitely, it's not with the Tampa Bay one, but. Honestly, it was a boring series of hockey. You you had five to two, six to two scores. Um, honestly, as it goes, as the games progressed, actually, I went to Game Six. Um, in UBS Arena, it was excellent. Um, but I want to say hats off to the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, that's it for the East. Um, now I want to get into the West here a little bit, real quick. We're gonna get on to the West before we're gonna end the video so in the west we're gonna honestly we're gonna start with colorado seattle um and the reason i want to start with colorado seattle is because this one was shocking um definitely for sure this one was shocking um and i'll tell you why because i had colorado losing to the camp uh, to the seattle colorado beating the seattle kraken and I don't know how that didn't happen. Colorado beat the, I don't, I don't really know how that didn't happen, but um yeah, that did not really happen to be honest. I don't really get that. Um but yeah, I feel like there there was definitely a lot of shocking series this year and I'm not mad about it. Am I happy about the roughing and stuff? 
I'm I'm honestly I'm not really that happy about the rest, but I'm not really gonna complain about them because they're just doing their job. I get it's hard to do it at playoff tension, so I'm not really I'm not really gonna argue against that or anything. I'm not I'm I don't really have I don't really have a reason to argue against that, so I'm not going to. Um Another thing is, honestly, the next game we're going to go to, because this one's not like, um, honestly, there's really nothing with this one. So the next one that we're going to go to is, I think, going to be the Florida, no, not Florida. It's going to be the, we're going to go over to the da- uh, Vegas Winnipeg game. Um, Honestly, again, I have nothing to say about the Dallas Minnesota game. Just an absolute trash hockey refing situation there. Um, and I will get the call out the refs in the NHL on this one. Why are you? Why are you suspending? Um, why are you like giving players like, game misconduct and stuff? And we'll go over this. And um, we will. I definitely do plan to go over this again in um. In the Stanley Cup final, I will, we will go over it, and I'll go over the refing, and we will also go over the Dallas Vegas game. Um, because I want to go over the Dallas Vegas series on um, real quick. That one is definitely a game of uh, weirdness and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's go over that um one real quick in a second. Yeah, so let's go over that one. That one is definitely interesting. Um, definitely for sure. Um, was it shocking? No, but was it shocking as well? Yes. Um, I I feel like it was only shocking because of the way it worked out. Um, not gonna call anyone out on that. No one's fault. Obviously, it was a very interesting one. Um, for sure. So that one's done. I I heard what to do. Now we're gonna go to Dallas Vegas or whatever. That, no, then we're gonna go to Vegas. Again, Dallas Minnesota trash hockey. Um, now we're gonna go to Vegas Winnipeg. The Vegas Winnipeg game I thought was actually interested. Um, was actually interesting in the Ve- And I'll say that the I'll say the Vegas uh Winnipeg game was actually interesting because, um. I don't really get why, um, I don't really get, again, I don't really get the rest call, uh, rest calls here, but this one was actually a very interesting game, um, especially, if you guys didn't hear about it, the Rick Bonus coaching has up the um, that we had no pushback or whatever. I definitely agree they lost a few games here and there. They definitely didn't care for the series to me. That's the way it looked like. But I don't really want to put it on Rick Bonus here, but I will unfortunately have to because you can't say that about your players. I mean, you can say that in the locker room. Hey, guys, we need to do this better for next season. Um, Just do these things to help you out. But they don't want – they didn't do that. They were just like, all right, good luck. Bye-bye. Like, they didn't – like, I feel like dessert care to earn it, Um, try to push for the cup. Unlike Vegas, who became your eventual Stanley Cup champion, um, again, based on a few calls, but we'll give credit to them. They definitely deserved it. Um, and at the end here, I'll give my NHL fan crowd um opinion as well, just for the fun of it. So we'll do that after. So that's Vegas, Winnipeg. Let's go over Edmonton, LA. Twice in a year, Edmonton has eliminated that. Two in a row uh, that Vegas has eliminated the LA Kings um, from the playoffs last year in seven, this year in six. And I say this year the Edmonton Oilers did okay. I mean, I feel like I feel like the LA Kings, I don't know if they had Jonathan Quick at that point. I'm going to check um, in our last series of the game. I'm going to check the Edmonton LA one real quick. I'm going to check. I don't know if they had. Um, Jonathan Quick in this ga- in that game or not? Um, I just want to really quick. It, it, I don't know who else would have started for them, but is there a roster anywhere? Um, here for Game Six, I'm trying to I'm trying to get a roster real quick so that I can uh 
get a roster report on this game, but I don't know if I will be able to. Uh, team stats. You could search here. There, it would be the ice time would be sixty for sure. Uh, goalie's here with Stuart Skinner. Yeah, and then we have the goalie here, Skinner versus. Um, I think the goal is Corpusalo at that point. Yeah, so I don't know if Corpusalo really had a chance on that. I'm not really sure. Um, because obviously, um, there were uh, obviously. Uh, I don't know who else is his backup. Cal Pedersen, I think. I don't know. I don't know who is the backup for that. But um, either way. This is definitely a very interesting game considering Vegas um got a little uh got at uh, not Vegas LA got trashed because of Corpus Allah. No offense to Corpy, but yep. Alright, so that's gonna do it. Now NHL fan experience overall. I I wanna give it to Vegas. I mean like they kept their fans entertained at their entertaining pregame show. I would have given it to um I would have given it to I, I like someone like um New York, but I don't think they deserve it to be honest. Their crowd was out of it, but yep, no, we agree that Vegas deserved it. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna stop sharing my screen, and that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.